getting some news just coming in. Let's go straight to the oath taking ceremony of the new Chief Justice of India. We're getting in these pictures right now of the new CGI, the Chief Justice of India taking oath today. Justice Chandrachu to take oath as the Chief Justice of India. He is in fact taking oath right now as we speak. These are live pictures on your screens from Delhi's Rashtrapati Bhavan. He is the 50th Chief Justice of India. He will be serving. Rashtrapati Mahadeva, Aapki Anumati Hoto, Samaro Ka Subaram Kiya Jai. Bharat Ke Mukhi Nyay Murti, Nyay Murti Dr. Dhananjay Yashwant Chandrachur. I, Dhananjay Yashwant Chandrachur. Having been appointed Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of India. Having been appointed as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of India. Do swear in the name of God. Do swear in the name of God. That I will wear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability knowledge and judgment that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability knowledge and judgment perform the duties of my office without fear and favor affection or ill will perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws.
Anisha Mathur is joining us with more details on that story. He's become the 50th head of the Indian judiciary with the president administering the oath of office to him at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Anisha. Yes, Justice Levi Chandrasekhar, Justice Dhananjay Chandrasekhar has become the 50th Chief Justice of India in the 75th year of Indian independence. He will have a tenure of just over two years, and he brings with himself a lot of expectations and a lot of legacy. Justice Chandrasekhar has been a judge of the Supreme Court for the last six years, prior to which he was uh, uh, the Chief Justice of the Allahabad High Court and uh, had initially started his career as a judge. Of the Bombay High Court, the uh, Chief Justice Chandrachur is also the son of in, uh, of Justice Yashwant uh, Vaidhi Chandrachur, who was the former Chief Justice of India, who held office for about seven years. He is also a legacy, and it, uh, that is why uh, that is one reason why he is expected to be, be a shining ray of hope as well for the Indian judiciary, the bar and the bench. Has been looking at his career, has been following his career closely. He is uh, known as somebody who always speaks his mind. He is known as somebody who has always um, uh, prioritized human rights, freedom, and equality. Justice Chandrachur is also known as a progressive judge uh, uh, who has also given several dissenting opinions, well crafted judgments, and observations in various. Uh, Cases. With this, in his two years as the Chief Justice of India, Justice Chandrasekhar is expected to tackle several issues that the judiciary has been facing, including the huge pendency, as well as uh, being responsible for the uh, uh, introduction of more and more uh, technological aspects to the way the judicial system works. And remember, Justice Chandrasekhar has also already in the last few years been responsible for technical, uh, technological upgradation of how the judicial system works. He's been the head of the E-Committee of the Supreme Court uh, who dealt with the digitization as well as the online virtual, virtual court and live streaming of court proceedings. Apart from this, he has uh, given yes. several judgments, including the most recent one about women rights. Right, Anisha. I'm thanking you for the moment. Anisha Mathur getting us those details on the new Chief Justice of India who's going to be in office up until the 10th of November 2024.